Bit for a start for the opening event, first division of the three-year-old maiden plate over the 1200. All set, they're racing Kakaya Bang, one of the best to begin with, Compose and Tritonic, and Capital Statement going forward looking for the lead. In behind them, Black and Gold, followed by Sovereign Call and Duke of Music going to fourth. A length and a half away, Tritonic. In behind them, Radiant Rio, followed by Bon Cafard and Salary, and Night Sight as last. At the 9.50, Kakaya Bang leads Compose by three quarters. A half on the inside is Capital Statement, followed by Sovereign Call. Duke of Music wider out. Back in behind them came Bon Cafard, followed by Radiant Rio Tritonic. A break of two lengths to black and gold, followed by night shift and four lengths away salary. Down the side of the 550, Duke of Music out three wide is coming out after Compose and Kakaya Bang. They make a line of three. In behind them, Capital Statement every chance four that appears to be going okay too, followed by Radiant Rio, then Bon Cafard. A break of four lengths to Sovereign Call cool not going well, followed by black and gold. In behind them, Tritonic and night side and tailed off as salary. Around the turn, no three hundred metres to go. Kakaya Bang got away a length and a half, Compose under pressure. Capital Statement now pulls to the outside. Duke of Music gets to second, followed by Bon Cafard. Kakai Bang, they clear with 150 metres to go. Over two lengths in front. He's got the beat from Duke of Music, then composed. Capital Statement can't go on. Tritonic is making ground, but Kakai Bang leads all the way. Scores by a length and a quarter to Duke of Music. Tight for third, two and a half away. Maybe Tritonic, a nose to compose. Capital Statement didn't go on from the home turn, followed by Bon Cafard. Night side back in behind them followed by black and gold well back on the race came radiant rio followed by sovereign call and last in was celery well that was the replay of the first uh, race in the program at mornington there are the runners going to the line again and uh, of course it's the the Fowler train colors the famous colors that you know so well going to the line a good winner to the uh, the locally trained galloper there five four and seven the numbers five Kakai Bang first, number four, Duke of Music second, and number seven, Tritonic in third, placing in the first race on the card down at Mornington. Number five, Kakai Bang, $4 for the win and $1.15 the place. Number four, Duke of Music second, 90 cents, and number seven, Tritonic third, $1.05. Quinella $5.60, and the trifecta, $73.30. That's race one, Mornington. Second four, race, Kandinsky, it's away it's they go, the and the favourite is number six, that is state edition. The outside looking for the lead with Cindy's guy. In behind them, Cayman Zig, followed by Observe and Miss, and wider out Fleet Yacht, my head them all off in a stride. In behind them came Chirisku, a length and a half away, Ximbius back in the field, followed by Swift Keel. Rose Commando well back, State Edition third last from Love the Rain, and five lengths away, Trixie's Pride. At the 750, Fleet Yacht the outside, joining Cindy's guy, they're matching strides by a length and a half to the grey, Kadinsky third, the box lead. Then Chirisku, followed by Observe and Miss, Swift Keel racing four and five wide down the side. In behind them came Rose Commando, followed by Anzig and Eximius. Two lengths away, State Edition. Love the rain well back on the race and tailed off as Trixie's Pride. Before the home turn, 450 metres to go. Eximius has thrown the rider. He's thrown the rider, Eximius. The boy appears to be quite okay. Fleet Yacht, though, 250 metres to go. Quickly ran to Cindy's guy and went to the lead. They've drawn away from Kadinsky. Back in behind them, Swift Keel, followed by Rose Commando Anzig. State Edition pulled to the outside, making ground, but Fleet Yacht broke away with 150 metres to go from Cindy's guy. State edition on the outside may grab third placing in the shadows of the post from Anzig, but Fleet Yacht bolts in. Fleet Yacht draws away near the line, scores by five and a half lengths to Cindy's guy. Three quarters away third. State edition third and nose in front of Anzig and observe and miss. Kadinsky closed up, followed by Swift Keel. In behind them, Trixie's pride from Rose Commando. Chirisco loved the rain, and the boy had a tumble off Eximius at about the 500 metres. He appears to be quite OK. Is up on his feet. Very easy win there to Fleet Yacht, which uh, was trained by Mel Gerard at Mornington. So two locals have won the first two. There it is drawing away from another locally trained horse in the Fowler Colours. Cindy's guy and State Edition is going to finish fast on the outside to get up and run third. Number four, Fleet Yacht. The win. Now this one, uh, he's not quite ready for us yet. He will be shortly, however, because they're just about in the stalls. And uh, the field, last of them coming up to the line now. And they're set. Over to you, Wayne. Supreme comfort on the inside. Creoliner right up to it. Starting signal given. Creoliner the tote favourite. 130 and 110. She'll go fast. All set. Started coming across to release them. 
ready to go. Racing off to a pretty good start, and there she goes, Creolino. She's racing away from them early. Northcrest is going quickly into second place, trying to uh, pace it with Creolino early. About four lengths into Dutton's County Supreme Comfort, Barunga Miss Shining Bell, and Croxley Bell last of all. She's got too much speed for them, Creolino, running onto the first bend, 800 metres to go. She leads by two lengths, Northcrest second. Six lengths away, third, Dutton's Candy, and then Barunga Miss on the outside of Supreme Comfort, Shining Bell. Croxley Bell last of all, coming down the side. 600 metres to go, and it's all Creolina at the moment. Murphy's got a good grip on her. She leads by two lengths. In second place, North Crest. Three lengths away, third, Dutton's Candy making ground. Three to Barunga Miss. Then Shining Bell on the outside, Supreme Comfort. Last of all, Croxley Bell. Into the straight, 350 metres to go. Creolina a length in front of North Crest. Dutton's Candy on the outside, making ground. And then Barunga Miss and Shining Bell. 200 metres to go. He's riding the favourite, Hands and Heels. She's about a length and a half in front. Creolina leading Dutton's Candy by a length of so North Crest weakening out of it, and then Barunga Miss. The Creolina is going to be too good for them in the run home. She's going to win a by a length. Creolina first, Dutton's Candy second, three lengths away third, either Barunga Miss or Croxley Bell, then Shining Bell, North Crest, and Supreme Comfort last of all. Well, there's a very good win to the first favourite. Uh, it was long odds on on the tap, and that's the way they should win when they're that price. Uh, Creolina scoring comfortably. Dutton's Candy coming home pretty well, made up a tremendous amount of ground from the halfway mark. And third doesn't greatly interest us because there's no dividend for third, only uh, first and second. But one is the winner, Creolina, from six Dutton's Candy. Now, our first telecast today from Sydney, and here are the, the tats. Uh, Miss Peru, number one, is 7.25 and 2.05. Number three, Doll says a bit of a tip for it today, 6.60 and 1.60. Four, English Mint, $3.05 and 1.15. Number six, Blazing Miss, 7.95 and 2.55. Seven, Really Pretty, 4.35 and 1.50. Down to the favourite, number ten, Break Dancer. Very skinny odds, that, 1.60 and 90. Number 14 is Hasty Zip. And that's uh, 540 the win and 160 a place. And the only other one marketable is number 15, Primrose Lane. It's at 655 and 190. Tote holding just short of $50,000 the win, $28,000 the place. That's race one in Sydney. Now there's the result of Mornington race two. Fleet yacht number four first, 220 and 95. Number two, Cindy's Guy second, 95. And number six, State Edition third, 85. Quinella 725 and the trifecta, $43.55. Now, um, red stars and the sleeves, yellow armbands, red cap. Normally she's raced in the all red break dancer. She raced in the all pink one day. She's had a mixture of colours, but uh, normally she's been racing in all red. Anyway, I'd say we're just about right. Mad Maxinus right. Premier Flight keen to get on with it. So stand by for action. A capacity field of 20. The only turn from the 1400 metre start is the home turn. Racing. Macro Girl on the outside was one of the best to begin. Miss Peru didn't jump out all that brilliantly, neither did Englishmen. Dolcezza was into stride well and Premier Flight and Break Dancer are handy. Then comes Mad Maxine and Sirocco Miss, closely attended by El Rello Blazing Miss, then Magic Shower and Hasty Zip. A length to Wimshar and Bluegrass Dancer. Dolcezza now getting well back in the field. So too is Magic Shower from Really Pretty. She's a long way out of her ground and so too is Duelist and Royal Desiders last. As they gallop past the 800 50 and El Rello on the inside is just the leader here from Premier Flight. In third position, Regal Shivers followed closely on the inside by Hasty Zip and then comes on the outer Blazing Miss. One further back, Mad Maxine Macro Girl and a length the Wimshar and Tristram's Girl. Breakdance of very deep and then Miss Peru. One Primrose Lane and Englishmen followed by Dolcezza, then Bluegrass Dancer and Really Pretty. One further back is Sirocco Miss under the whip. Likewise, Magic Shah from Duelist and Absolute is Royal Desaad. On the home corner and El Rello on the outside, just leading Blazing Miss and Hasty Zip on the rails, but Hasty Zip per medium of the inside ahead, Blazing Miss and El Rello at the 300. Macro Girl joins in, followed by Mad Maxine and Primrose Lane on the outer. Forget about Break Dancer, Primrose Lane and Mad Maxine with Macro Girl, three in line. On the outside, Primrose Lane is going home better now than Mad Maxine and Primrose Lane for the money. Primrose Lane beat Mad Maxine, I think Dolce's a modern nail, Macro Girl and Bluegrass Dancer for third, then Tristram's Girl 
Royal English men breakdancer. Macro girl I noticed pull up very quickly in the run on, followed by Royal Dessart Magic Shah and further back Blazing Miss Duelist, really pretty Miss Peru Sirocco Miss. Then came on the outside fence Premier Flight Hasty Zip Walk to the Pig and beating only Regal Shivers and Im Shah to the line. Third race at Mornington. All set, good line, racing, Elusive Dream began quite well with Thunder Long and also Potter Star. In behind them came Mistino, followed by Rosade out wide going forward, as forcefully outside is quickly joining Elusive Dream and Cup Elegance in the centre now heads them all off along the back of the thousand. Cup Elegance in front by three quarters to Forceful, followed by Elusive Dream. Rosade the favourite gets the fourth, two lengths away Potter Star. In behind them came Eliza Bay, followed by Ballet Lass and Thunder Along. Back in behind them came Mistino, China Band and five lengths away Newborn Star. At the 650 Cup Elegance by three quarters to Forceful a length away Rose 8 close enough on the outside of Elusive Dream being hard ridden two lengths away Pona Star a break of three to Ballet Lass followed by Thunder Along then Eliza Bay Mistino China Band and five lengths away Newborn Star. 300 metres out though on the turn. Cup Elegance just in front by Neck to Forceful. A half away Rose 8 pulled to the outside three wide they've broken away by two lengths to Pona Star followed by Elusive Dream and four lengths to China Band. Cup Elegance though inside the 200, a neck in front of Forceful. Three quarters away, Rose 8 under pressure. Forceful the outside has got the Cup Elegance. A length away, Rose 8 trying hard. Forceful the outside just in front. Cup Elegance coming again and Ponastar making ground the inside. Ponastar is flying on the inside and grabbed the lead right on the line. And Ponastar, a feel, has got up and beaten Forceful and Cup Elegance. Rose 8 close up, followed by Mistino. China Band in behind them, followed by Elusive Dream. Then in thunder along, back in behind them, Eliza Bay, followed by Newborn Star, and last in was Ballet Lass. Well, uh, that's another race altogether, is it? No, no, there's the three of them there. That's Ponner Star on the inside, and it uh, should play 280 and 80. Close for second and third between four forceful 155 and eight. Cup Elegance 140, and the very disappointing favourite fourth was Rosate. Had magnificent form for the race. Fifth at Caulfield last start, and second at Mooney Valley two starts before, but it just failed to produce in the straight. Trying to beat an attendant or two, but they've won that battle, and they should just about jump now. They're off, and uh, approaching the post the first time with just on a circuit to go. Queen Cara, one of the leaders, early with Tyanka. Oh, they've all grabbed hold. Nothing wants to lead. Mighty Conquest is pulling so hard he mightn't be able to hold it back. And out of the straight, they quicken up now. And uh, here, Mighty Conquest is caught very wide. Mr. Darby gets across to be the leader from in the all-white rice wine. Mighty Conquest, cheer Charlie away from the rail. Uh, Tyanka between it and on the rail, Queen Cara, and about eight lengths away to Pokemon. Over the crossing near the 2000 and the leader, Mr. Darby, a half three quarters in second placing in the all-white rice wine. Over on the outside is Mighty Conquest, three lengths away then, or two lengths anyway, to cheer Charlie making a bit of ground as Mighty Conquest lost a length ahead of him. Tyanka in the centre, and over on the rail was Queen Car, and where's Pokemon? Oh, he's 15 lengths away. So they work into the far side, and Mr. Darby led by about a half length to Mighty Conquest in the all-white rice wine, but I think that's one good bet for the day. He won't be all-white by the time he gets around. He's third. Three lengths away, cheer Charlie, three lengths, Tyanka, two and a half Queen Cara with her ears ridden off and eight lengths away or ten props even uh, to Pokemon at the tail. 1,400 to go. Mr. Darby joined on the outside by Mighty Conquest. Nearly a length and a half away third in the all-white rice wine. Two to Cheer Charlie. He's been given the run of the race. Three lengths away Tyanka. Eight lengths to Queen Cara. She doesn't like the rain and about eight lengths to Pokemon. So they work along the far side of the course and here the leader with 1,200 to go is Mr. Darby by a length now only a half length again to Mighty Conquest. Cheer Charlie looks to have them all covered, running up to third. On the outside of the all-white garbed rice wine, two lengths, Tyanka, eight lengths away to Queen Cara, refusing to stretch out at all, and four lengths away, Pokemon about to go past her. Down the side of the course they run, and Cheer Charlie lets go now, and cuts loose a fair way from home, drew about a half length in front of Mr. Darby, rice wine, Tyanka, mighty conquest struggling, eight lengths away, Pokemon and Queen Cara. So they work down the far side of the course towards the 700, Cheer Charlie, he let go a long way from home, but he drew two lengths in front It'll be interesting to see if he wants
wants to stay near the rail or run out deep in the straight. He's about two and a half in front of Mr. Derby. Rice Wine, they're both jumpers. Four lengths away, Ty Anchor, eight lengths to Poker Man. He's still got a hope of running a place. He's running on. Mighty Conquest is gone. And uh, he's dropping right back through the tail, almost being pulled up. And Queen Cara joins him. Yes, he's gone towards the outside on Cheer Charlie in the straight. Rice Wine's rider elected to stay on the rail. And Cheer Charlie straight and clear of Rice Wine on the inside. Then Mr. Derby followed by Ty Anchor out wide on the track. Cheer Charlie the leader. Rice Wine trying hard in second placing. Ty Anchor holds third. He's about six off the rail. But Cheer Charlie untroubled. Rice Wine's making a go of it. Ty Anchor third from Mr. Derby. Poker Man won't run a place after all. And Cheer Charlie untroubled down the outside. Goes to the line. He's down. Wins it by about three lengths. Second placing over on the inside rail was Rice Wine. Third was Ty Anchor. Then Poker Man and Mr. Derby together. A long gap to Queen Cara. She never stretched out at any stage. And Mighty Conquest 200 yards away from the winner in last placing. Well, uh, adjacent to the stores, but uh, he's just got his toes dug in at the moment. He's a little hesitant about the whole thing. Now they try once more with him. All right, they've got him in this time, hoped in star, and now they're set to go. Already. It's waiting on the signal. There it goes. Set. Ready to jump. Stutter comes across to release them. Venetius on the inside, man of blaze. Hoped in star, drawn out very wide. All set now. Secret fire, Carnivore. Deladius, Royal Beach, Silent Spark. Line's good. Racing. Off to a pretty good start, making memories, drifting back shortly after the jump. Royal Beach and Venetius got the best of it, landed in front. Hopeton Star showing speed from that wide. Carnivu and Delatti are showing plenty of dash, and so is Secret Fire. Al Glow going through in between horses. Vantam's next on the inside, getting back to midfield as Man Ablaze and Dico. Silent Spark is next, racing on the outside, and there's Cosmic Ruler picking up ground quickly. Zephyr Zeus is out very deep on the track. Well back as condition as they come down the side. Back second last is easy mover and dropping to the rear of the field is making memories. Well back in the field is Wheel the lead. Coming down the side 5.50 to go. Hopeton Star with a wing on every foot is raced to the front now crosses onto the rails and leads by a length. Part of Lady now going up to be second followed by Carnivore. Royal Beach next on the outside. Venetius on the rails behind them and then a Vantam as they straighten up and Russell's gone for home on the favourite and he's booted away. Hopeton Star. He's about four lengths in front of Venetius then part of Lady of Vantam and Silent Spark but with 200 metres to go. It's all Hopeton Star. He's six lengths in front. Well, they put their money up and they're going to get it. It's Hopeton Star careering away in the run to the post to win it easily. Silent Spark making up plenty of ground for second, then a Vantam. But Hopeton Star as he's right down on the line to score easily. Hopeton Star first, Silent Spark second, third a Vantam. Then uh, Venetius and Parler Lady, Deladius, Dico, Carnivore. Further back came Condition. Next in then was Making Memories and then Wheel the Lead, Dico, Man Ablaze, Royal Beach. Well, back in the field, easy move, the Cosmic Ruder, Al Glow and Zephyr Zeus last of all. Well, that horse, Hopeton Star, was having its first start in a race. And uh, it's by Star Munda from uh, Chaser Hale. And it's trained by B.R. Wakefield at Eagle Farm. That's obviously very smart, isn't it? Silent Spark, another first starter. Got up for second. And a Vantam, the top weight in the race, took third money. Balagast. Racing in the Spring Cup. Not a bad break it was either from the starting point at the 2200 metres and Bold Endeavours, the early leader. I don't think he'll be there for long. Ara King moves up to challenge him. In third position, Lance Lotto on stage is racing fourth. My Day starting to improve his ground. Then Kutzbar, Kuba's gold on the fence over Heroic Blaze. Then Wine Glass and Alimony Peak. Next is Port Fair from Baron Kane. A length to Palmyra Bay. Camila Sard on the outside. Second last being Hussar's Command. And last of all is the Grey Mare Lady of Ross. Ara King leads as they race out of the straight and go along past the 1600. It's a half length on my day. Third is Bold Endeavour racing on the inside of Lance Lotto. Two to Cuba's Gold on the inside of On Stage. One to Kutz Bar, one and a half Heroic Blaze on the fence, Alimony Peak. Then Port Fair, Wine Glass, Palmyra Bay, Kumi Lassad three deep in the centre, Baron Kane. Lady of Ross on the rails and Old Hussar's Command is last. Back about 15 lengths from Ara King who leads as they gallop along past the 1300 
100 metres. Atatara King about a half length on my day. Bold Endeavour is getting a beautiful run behind the pacemakers. Fourth is Lance Lotto, followed on the fence by Cooper's Gold, then Heroic Blaze on stage. Near the rails, Kutz Bar ahead of uh, the ahead of the others on the outside, Port Fair. One further back comes Alamany Peak and then Palmyra Bay and on the outside, Wineglass, Lady of Ross. Well back on the outside, Camille Assad, Baron Kane, second last, Hussar's command brings up the rear. 800 out on the Spring Cup and Eric King gets away here by more than a length on my day. Third bold endeavour, then Lance Lotto, Cooper's Gold. Heroic Blaze the outside, one then coming on stage, Port Fair and Kutzbar. Palmyra Bay shaken up, then Wineglass and Baron Kane, Camille Assad and Alamany Peak a long way back. So too is Hussar's command and again Lady of Ross is last but they're starting to bunch. At the 400 coming onto the home corner, Eric King a length on my day. Bold endeavour about to get out of the pocket. Here he comes now. Lance Lotto putting in his claim at the same time as does Bold Endeavour. At a length the Port Fair, Cuba's Golden Hussars command. At the 200 metres, Lance Lotto, Bold Endeavour, my day and Port Fair charges at them and Cuba's Gold runs on followed by Hussars command but Port Fair dashed away. He's home in the Spring Cup, Port Fair. Second posse will be Cuba's Gold ahead of Hussars command but Port Fair wins well. Cuba's Gold second, Hussars command third then Lance Lotto on stage Palmyra Bay wine glass my day bold endeavour threw it in in the last 100 from Baron Kane Eric King heroic blaze pulling up quickly further away Kutz Bar Lady of Ross Camille Assad and absolute was Alamany Peak ever wondered whether you might need a daily multivitamin 25 Brian Markovic Luarco and Free Spirit autumn attraction going forward with Pure Rocket followed by Maid Mahal Senate back in behind them followed by King of Heaven Strange Triss is racing around the outside six deep early followed in behind them by Bryce Sheru Hard Luck Harry Moomba Magic still there and Key is last at the 1250 Strange Twist took over and led by length and a half to autumn attraction on the inside of Pure Rocket around the outside of the field now getting up to be second King of Heaven in behind them, two lengths away, back in the field, Senate, followed by Free Spirita. On the rail is Luarco, two lengths away, Bryce Sheru, followed in behind them by Maid Mahalia and Jellamis. Well back on the race, some three lengths to Moomba Magic, followed by still there, Hard Luck Harry, and a half away is Key. Strange twist, though, 750 metres out, a neck in front of King of Heaven, and that pair have broken away by four lengths to Autumn Attraction, a length and a half away, Senate. Luarco back on the rail, being hard ridden, pure rocket, losing ground, being passed by Free Spirita. In behind them came Angela missed two lengths away Moomba Magic followed by Maid Mahal Brian Sheru back on the rail from Hard Luck Harry still there and Key King of Heaven the outside of Strange Twist around the turn 300 metres out only two and a half in front of Autumn Attraction making ground followed by Senator Free Spirit and now hooked to the outside followed by Angela Miss and Brian Sheru followed by Lou Arco and Maid Mahal Strange Twist though 250 out got away from King of Heaven by a length down the outside is Autumn Attraction making ground followed by Free Spirit at the 100 50 strange twister half in front king of heaven again coming at it on the outside followed by autumn attraction free spirit strange twist though pulling out plenty near the line and it breaks through this afternoon strange twist wins by length and a quarter maybe autumn attraction second the nose to king of heaven free spirit has run fourth followed by maid mahal then you and jella miss in behind them senate followed by luaku brasheru hard luck harry was well back followed by key still there moomba magic and last in was pure rocket well, uh, L lose about a length or so at the start. Tamanor actually best to leave the machine and landed just in front of Chorus Music and in the all-white as Le Professeur. Just in behind those Arctic Thunder and then came over on the inside Gascoigne Bay, King of the Court. Then around it, Sir Alexander racing deep and three lengths to Mistulation, two to Splendid Melody and one and a half to Overland Boy. While well, they're stringing right out along the side of the course and the Boulder Le Professeur took them to the 1200 by two and a half. In second placing, Arctic Thunder strides up ahead of Chorus music two links away then sir alexander who's joining tamanor three or four links away to gascoigne bay another two then to king of the court three links further back losing ground mistulation not going at all well splendid melody passed it and further back in the field overland boy at the 800 meter mark now and here arctic thunder goes up with tamanor chorus music and they all grab le professor who's done his part by leading early two links to sir alexander three or four links to gascoigne bay two to king of the court splendid melody and mistulation there 
back about eight lengths or so off the lead and five away to Overland Boy before turning, coming to the 600, passing it now and the leader, Chorus Music, narrowly to Tamanor. Over on the outside came Arctic Thunder, two or three lengths away, Sir Alexander. A similar break, but back on the inside running Gascoin Bay, King of the Quarters, they start to head out wide. Then Mistulation, Splendid Melody's going deep and back behind them, Le Professor dropping out. And last of all, Overland Boy, Tamanor stayed to the rail. Chorus Music went to the outside, Sir Alexander's gone. It's between Tamanor and Chorus Music. In fact, it's between Chorus Music and its supporters because down the outside, it's coming right away. Oh, he looks around behind him, but he doesn't have to. There's nothing within a bull's roar. It's going to romp in. He tries to ease it down near the line, Chorus Music, and it gets home about six or seven lengths in front of Tamanor. Gascoin Bay in the middle got third. Then Mistulation, Sir Alexander, King of the Court. Further back, Arctic Thunder, followed by Overland Boy, Splendid Melody, and tailed off Le Professeur. And $45.95. Number six, Broadreach, the favourite way, $6.65, and they're set in Brisbane. Hopeton Star. Recording a very impressive win, Hopeton Star, having his first race start today. Lights are on. Set. Racing, Supermind began fairly near the inside and so did Sabre Tab. Time of Moss is going quickly in the early part. Ocean Ruler showing some speed and so is Liberella from out wide. Drifting back, Mr Huggy muted and Lord Woden. Coming up towards the winning post the first time, Ocean Ruler pulling pretty hard on the inside is joined now by Time of Moss. And Time of Moss goes to the front, leads by a neck. But Ocean Ruler is pulling very hard on the inside and the jockey having some problem in trying to restrain him. With the advantage of the inside, he goes through to lead now. Over the crossing, 1,600 metres to go, Ocean Ruler ahead in front of Time of Moss. Two lengths away, third, Liberella. Three to Northern Beam, a length and a half to Hondo Matic, and then Supermine on the inside, Sabre Tab. Length and a half to Muted, and then Lord Woden, who's trapped out a bit wide, Mr Huggy on the inside. These two leaders are going hard at it as they race into the back, 1,200 metres to go. Time of Moss, the outside, Ocean Ruler, the inside, there together. Five lengths in front of Liberella, two to Northern Beam. One to Hondo Matic, one to Supermine on the inside of Sabre Tab, and then Lord Woden, Muted. Last of all, Mr Huggy. They come up towards the 1,000 metre mark now, Time of Moss, the outside, about a half length in front of Ocean Ruler. There's still four lengths in front of Hondo Matic picking up ground on the outside of Northern Beam. Liberella next inside of Sabre Tab. Supermine caught behind Liberella at the moment, and the grey going back on top of Supermine, although Russell is able to ease him off the fence now. A little bit of trouble in between horses there. Sabre Tab lost his position very quickly. He dropped back sharply. They're bunching up in front where Time of Moss is the leader, just in front of Ocean Ruler. Now, Northern Beam's made a quick dash up on the outside to join those leaders. Lord Woden going forward on the outside. He's fourth now. Hondo Matic right around the field with a big run going up to join them. Followed by Supervine. Ocean Ruler in between horses and then muted. Sabre Tab to the outside. He's got him going again. And Liberella's now dropped out last there. Chopping and changing. Hondo Matic's taken the lead. 300 metres to go. Hondo Matic just in front of Northern Beam. Supervine going for a run on the inside. Muted coming through in the middle. Lord Woden. Sabre Tab on the outside. Muted's got the split. He burst through. Hit the lead. Muted kicked away from them. A length in front of Lord Woden. Sabre Tab. Mr. Huggy making ground, but Muted shot clear close to home. Yes, he's too good. He pulls the whip on him at the end to hold Mr. Huggy, and he does that by a neck. It's Muted first, Mr. Huggy second, tight third, a photo. Sabre Tab, Lord Woden, and Supermine, then Hondo Matic, Time of Moss Ocean Ruler. The last two home were Northern Beam and Librella. Well, a lot of tired horses there. Muted the uh, the winner, Mr. Huggy, flying when it's all over. We'll try and sort third out for you. It's... Uh... Very difficult for third. Uh, oh no. No, it's uh, quite clearly gone to. Uh, what is it? Is it number. No, I'm not too sure what that is there, but 315 and dollar twenty. Second, three Cooper's Gold, a dollar ninety-five. And third, six Azar's Command, one dollar eighty. Quinella, nineteen eighty-five. Trifecta, two hundred and ninety-nine dollars ten. Now, Mornington race four, number seven, Strange Twist, two dollars ten and eighty-five. Second, two, Autumn Attraction, a dollar forty. And third, four, King of Heaven, two dollars sixty. Quinella there paid twenty-one dollars, and the trifecta two hundred and sixty-two dollars and ninety cents. Now, the Sydney race will be coming up in a couple of minutes' time. We and Craig, green, white sash, dark blue sleeves, a green cap with a white spot, or white spots. All set to go now on the third of the day here. Unquestioned. Stands up okay. 
In the side runner being Gypsy Reward, the clear-cut toad favourite, racing this time and missing the start about.